Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPhone or iPod Touch firmware. This doesn't work for upgrading because for some reason it just doesn't let you. See, I'll click download for the 3.0 and I'll click save except no because it says compressed zip folder and we need it Apple software device. So let's say, wow, this is stupid. I hate 3.0. I want to go back to 2.2. Find iPod Touch 2G 2.2 and click on it then click download click save and name it whatever you want but keep the dot IPSW at the end and keep it Apple device software update file alright now save it to wherever you like I'd save it to desktop so there you go that's all you have to do I'm not gonna save it because I already have it saved alright so next once you got it saved you're gonna have to put your you ha you're gonna have to plug in your iPod and put it into DFU mode I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of the video. And then you're going to have to go into iTunes. Okay, so once your iPod's in DFU mode and plugged in, and iTunes is up, it will come up with this. iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Just click OK. And now what you're going to do is hold down Shift, and then click Restore. You have to hold down Shift. And then this should come up. Now go and find whatever you downloaded, the firmware you downloaded. I downloaded iPod 2.2 Restore to IPSW. Just click on it and then click Open. And then it should start the whole entire thing. Now I'm not going to do that because I really don't want my iPod to go through Restore mode again. And yes, I'm going to tell you that when you click Restore, it does restore your iPod. So you're going to lose everything. Now obviously you can sync it back up, but what I've seen is that you get every single song in your music library and you get every single application you've ever downloaded, which is kind of annoying, but you can just go back and delete them. I hope you didn't download a ton, but that's how you downgrade an iPod Touch or iPhone to 2.2 or whatever firmware you want to get to. Now I do have a friend, his name is Gabe, his channel is Gabriel St. Angel, and I'm going to put the link in the description. He has some great videos. But he has XP. And he said that it didn't work the first couple of times. And then the third time, it finally worked. Well, okay. So, if you have XP, know that it might not work the first two times. But if you have Vista, like me, it probably will work the first time. That's all I'm going to say, guys. And thanks for watching my videos. This is KYCTS, signing out.